And and also with the the salvation thing, um, I guess I'm kind of calling God's bluff on that because okay. if God is who people say God is. Now we're recording. Okay. You always got to be super careful with this. Oh yeah, yeah. The Zoom thing. It's a it's a microphone, but it's yeah. stereo. There's oh two yeah, yeah, on yeah. Either side. Yeah, okay. Let me. Uh, you got one of these? Yeah, not the same model. You make music? Yeah. I, I, <laughs> nice. What do you play? In the basement. <laughs> same here. If I had a basement, I got an yeah. apartment, but I got like my own little room where I just oh, stuff yeah. all the instruments in. There you, you go. go. Well, you know, actually, I, I do more. Uh, words writing and then uh, sing a little bit that takes a we lot of work like the, it does take a lot of work yeah because yeah. you always have like this high standard of what you want yeah it doesn't need it you're just like race everything oh yeah you know, like, <laughs> <to do> this. <laughs> yeah i got some friends we've been doing this about 10 oh maybe longer than that okay we meet up in a friend of mine's basement over in inglewood okay inglewood social club is mm -hmm. the band okay we only play in john's basement that's pretty cool because we're all about just doing it for ourselves and you know, they were professional musicians for a while. Okay. The other guys that I'm with. And uh, I read sound. Mm -hmm. But uh, that's just, I would just rather just, I like recording. The whole performance thing in front of people. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. can take that or leave it off. Same here, yeah. same here. Yeah. I tend to not do my best live. And yeah. And I found like recording, especially since I know I'm going to be listening to my stuff more than anybody else. Yeah. I want to get it crafted yeah you know? and it, yeah. it improves it as well but like you also develop an ear for when you record compared to like live here it is you're done Let yeah that's true that's true yeah there's different schools of thought <laughs> so anyway like I said I won't take up the most of your time okay I got a five minute timer you yeah. can talk more if you want but okay. uh, I have a belief I can talk more anyone should be able to talk to anyone about anything yeah and all I do is ask questions and try to figure out like is the is this thing that you really hold really important did you use a reliable way to get there or not? Oh, okay. That's about it. Okay. Is there anything that you really strongly believe is true? Anything you're motivated by? Something you know you can't be wrong about? Wow. You know, uh, by the way, I'm Ty. I forgot to introduce myself. Landry. Landry? Nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah. How do you spell that? D N D R Y. D R Y. Yep. Landry. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Um, What's the thing you're most confident about? I'm not confident. Period. You're not confident about <laughs> anything. Is there anything that of those things? That's fine. That's a good place to start. In my opinion, I think that's all right. Yeah. But what's something you know like it's got to be like this? Uh, something that's got to be like this. something like you like actually molded your life around because you're so confident. Yeah. This, you yeah. Know? Um, I would think the um, well, like the the spiritual thing. Mm -hmm. I'm confident that whether there's a God or not, mm -hmm. that doesn't have a lot to do with my daily life. Oh. What I need to do in my daily life is focus on the resources that I have, the time, the money, the relationships, and how can I best use those relationships um, to do whatever it is I'm trying to do. Which, yeah. Just so I can understand that, yeah. you're saying like, whether or not there is a God, yeah. it's not part of my daily concern. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a road. It's, it's like um, on, a, on a different a different field, it's like who, who the president is. Mm. I mean, that definitely affects my life, mm. but whoever's in that office, I still have to get up and go to work. Sure. I still have to pay bills. Sure, yeah. I still have to, you know, take care of my family and my friends and all that. You got to watch over your shoulders yeah, sometimes. Yeah, yeah still, like, exactly. Oh, is he following me? <laughs> Government's yeah. on me again. Come on, they <laughs> found about the... <laughs> The yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I mean, it doesn't matter whether it's somebody that I like or somebody that I don't like. Mm. I still have, you know, certain things that I have to do. Coming at this from yeah. like a more spiritual, religious angle, mm -hmm. there might be people who would say, "Pretend it was me saying, yeah, like, hey, you know, your long-term salvation or your the the sanctity of your soul, the security of you in your afterlife is entirely dependent." And what you do on a day-to-day -day basis, ergo, this should be a concern for you. Yeah. What would you say to someone like that? I would say you might be right, but um, I don't have any proof either way. And my experience has taught me that if I do the best I can right now, 
that long-term stuff will work it out. You know, and I learned that from you know, managing my money. You know, you spend some, but you've got to save some. I learned that from uh, you know eating food. I mean, there's a lot of food that I like to eat that's not sure. necessarily healthy. Yeah, there's so a lot. I just eat less of it. There's a place I go to in Nashville. Yeah, only when I'm here for Sunday assembly. Yeah, it's burritos. They're like three feet long. Holy crap! And they're like this thick. Yeah, there's a place in Lex. I'm going to go on a little tangent. Little yeah. tangent. Yeah, in Lexington they make ones that's like four feet to ten feet as long as you want. They'll just yeah. be layering tortilla shells. Wow. Or bur- and burritos. Yeah. I found a place that does that here, and I'm like, great. Now I don't have to drive to Lexington. But <laughs> once a yeah, month, Lexington's a long way. Yeah, it's four hours. <laughs> but I did the Google Maps. I was like, well, just sit through it. Yeah. But yeah, food. If you take it in moderation, if you yeah. manage it well, long term, you're going to be yeah. better off than you would if you didn't manage it. Yeah. Right. And and also with the the salvation thing, um, I guess I'm kind of calling God's bluff on that because okay. if God is who people say God is then surely he would understand a person that's just like, I've got these resources, I'm going to make the best use of them, and when I get to that point of crossing that bridge, going to the afterlife, well, I'll deal with that then. Surely the person will understand that, you know, you did the best you had with what you could, Mm. and if they want to punish me and throw me in hell for that, well, I will go. I'll be be like, (laughs) hi. I'd rather be there than Yeah, exactly, exactly. Let me throw out this idea. Christian comes and says, "Yeah, maybe not even a Christian, but just someone who's vaguely Christian." Yeah, and says, "All God wants." If you read the Bible, the context of God is someone who has a lot of power that just desperately wants to be loved. Yeah, he could have made you love him automatically, but he's yeah. giving you that choice himself. Yeah, and he's made all these other things. He's made, you know, he's he's sacrificed himself on the cross for you. He's doing things for you, but he's not asking anything other than, "Please love me." Yeah, if you are capable of doing that. Couldn't you just do that? Couldn't you just say, I hey, could, on a daily basis, yeah. could you just, just pray? I could, could you just do give 10% that. of your paycheck? Ex- like, is that really... <laughs> too far? <laughs> too far? <laughs> too far? <laughs> all right, all right. Go back to the prayer. No, no, go back to the prayer. Go back to the prayer. No, you I know, mean, just daily prayer. That's I, all. I've heard that that line of uh, thing bef- of before. Um, and, you know, um, it makes me wonder about God's mental health. Mm-hmm. You know, you can do all of this stuff. And you've given all these gifts to somebody who hasn't asked for them. Mm. I didn't ask for it. You didn't ask for him to kill his yeah. son. Yeah. Like, hey. yeah, if you want to do that, go right ahead. I didn't ask for that. I appreciate you know, it. I take care of my own self. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> you know, it, it, it sounds to me a lot like um, a relationship, you know, a romantic relationship where one person is controlling but in a very passive, aggressive kind. Mm. You know, I'm going to build you this house. I'm going to give you eternal life. I'm going to do this, that, and the other. And I know you didn't ask for it, but I just want to do it because I love you. And I want you to love me in return. Mm. But with that love, there are conditions because um, the wages of sin is death. Sure. Yeah. You know, all have sinned to come short of the glory of God. So there's a veiled threat in there, too, mm. that if you don't love me, well, you know, this bad stuff is going to happen to you. There's definitely a stick behind the character. There is, Yeah. And if God is a person who set this system up in the first place, okay. then that is designed into the system. Mm. And I don't want to play by those rules. How about this? <laughs> I'm going to say something a little controversial. Here. Okay. Christians got it wrong. Yeah. God didn't say anything about hell. God yeah. didn't say anything about punishment. Yeah. He was just like, hey, I made this. I love you. Yeah. Have fun. You know? Like, I, I want you guys to enjoy this. And... You know, give me a little credit. Yeah. Just a little time. That's all I'm asking yeah, for. I'm, but, like, if you don't, that's no problem because, <laughs> hey, we're all going to party in the afterlife anyway. Yeah. Will I that would be, definitely would you... be more receptive to that. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds uh, more like um, I dated a girl who's Hindu at one time. Okay. And they have just a lot of different variations. Um, and one of the things that, that they believe is that, you know, God is God. It doesn't matter what you call it. You can call it Jesus. You can call it Krishna. You can call it whatever. Yeah. And they're a lot more relaxed about that whole at least my understanding. Sure, yeah, sure, sure. To it. But they seem a lot more relaxed about uh, the rules and the regulations. And it is more of a, you know, hey, I did this. I want you to enjoy it. You know, give me some credit if you want. But If, if you want, it's no big Yeah, yeah. And I can relate to that. I, I can appreciate that. It still wouldn't make me want to go to church every week. Cause I see. It's, I, I don't see the benefit for me in that. <laughs> I'm going to throw out one last thing. Okay. 
If it turned out that we could demonstrate right now yeah. enough of a reasonable case for you to say, hey, this God does exist. Yeah. The Christian God, as depicted in the Bible, yeah. does without a fact 100% exist. Yeah. It wouldn't necessarily mean that you'd start worshiping him, would it? No. It, I think it might mean, though, that Christians would have a crisis because Christianity is based on faith. Mm. And faith is about believing something without evidence. Mm. So if you suddenly provide evidence. Like now we have it. Now we know. Yeah, we know where yeah, it I is. Mean, it's right there. We've got an email link to him. Yeah. He's got a Gmail account. Yeah. It's all secure. Yeah. Delivered. He like, stopped by the other day. We had a beer, you know. He's, <laughs> he's rewriting things in the sky. Like we found him. We got yeah. him. Yeah. But daily concern? No, not really. Well, I mean, I, it would be. It would be kind of, I would think I would probably treat it like um, somebody asked me once if Jesus moved in next door to me. Sure. And, you know, I treat him like I treat my other neighbors. For the most part, I'd ignore him. <laughs> but, you know, <laughs> if he needed anything, you know. Why that always the brother's solution? It's like, it, wait, it fixes a lot of problems. It's true. Because when I go home, I'm like, I don't want to talk to any of these people. For real. I got some people are. I got some people coming down. It's like, can you help me get this? It's like, I just moved here. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm going inside. Yeah. And I shut the door and that's it. Because <laughs> I just don't want to deal with it. Exactly. But, you know, at the same time, he had a flat tire yeah. or whatever. Yeah, I'd sure. be there for him. Because yeah. that's what neighbors do. Exactly, yeah. And, you know, I'd probably invite him over for a coffee or If they're moving on, like, move a couch. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, we don't need to be best friends. We just live next to each other. Yeah. At the same time, if we turn out to be best friends, well, then that's good. Yeah. But, you know, eh. Right. <laughs> yeah. Right. I'm fine with that. Let me think. Yeah. Um, what would you say then? Who would be your ideal God that would let you give some sort of daily concern to him or her? Oh, wow. Like, what would it take question. for it to fit that? That's a good question. Because, uh, I don't know, we probably have to be married or something. Mm -hmm. Because, uh, I mean, I see my wife every day, but... I love my mom. She lives right across town. But, yeah. You know, but we'll you've been trade not texts, even then as daily. But <laughs> we'll trade texts most days. Okay. But, you know. But what capacity would now. meet that? Like, what qualities oh, would man. that be need for you um, to be like, all right, now it's daily. Just check Yeah. It. Well, it would have to be um, uh, some type of partnership. Okay. Where we were working together mm -hmm. in uh, service of a common goal. Oh. Yeah. Have you ever seen, like, early edition? Have you ever seen no, the TV show? No. It's a show where a guy gets tomorrow's newspaper oh, one day early. Okay. Yeah, and yeah. the guy who gives it to him is like a delivery man, but he's clearly an allegory for God. Yeah, yeah. And, he, and you don't figure that until like a couple of seasons later in. Oh, okay. But the guy who gets the newspaper is like run down. He's like, his wife left him. Yeah. He lost his home. He only has yeah. a hotel and his best friends that he's leeching off of. But he's a good person because yeah. he keeps going out of his way to be like, who got murdered today? Let me stop that. Which, oh, what God brought yeah. today, let me stop that. And yeah, then the newspaper yeah, yeah. changes in real time so that there's no bad things. And people complain, uh, like, there's never anything good in the newspaper. It's just always yeah. boring. It's like, yeah, because I'm working. I'm grinding. I'm grinding, right? That's what he's doing on the down low. But, like, the newspaper delivery guy and the guy who's down and out doing all that hard mm -hmm. work, they have, like, a relationship with yeah. each other. Because this guy's giving newspapers to everybody, and everyone, one person in every city is trying to do their best uh, to, like, yeah. maintain everything better. Yeah. Something like that. Oh uh, yeah, something like that. A little bit I like that. Okay, I like okay. that. Yeah. It's like, hey, delegate yeah. some stuff to me. For yeah. Common goal to make everyone's life better. Yeah. And, and then, I'll check in on you. Exactly. Then we're both invested on it. We're both. There's there's not that that stick with the carrot kind mm. of thing, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's really good. Okay, cool. Yeah. Well, yeah. Thanks, man. Lunch. I think we should. Nice to meet you. Yeah. You a card. Sure. Yeah. I'd love it. Yeah. I give you a card. There you go. Ooh, cool. Yeah. You make you have access to your uh, music on this? Uh, yeah. No, Could you write it down? I'll write it down. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let me borrow my pen. I got a pencil. Oh, wait. I got a pen. I got a legit pen. But yeah, that was a good chat. There we go. Yeah. I'll put it on here. Nice. Yeah. That's legit. Yeah. And we've also um, I've signed up with this company called DistroKid, which will, um, for a, like a yearly fee, they'll put your music on Apple to Apple Music, on Amazon, oh. on you know all of the streaming services and everything. Automatically? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you just pay the fee and upload the uh, 
upload the file. Okay. You know, put in information, you know, the band name, sure, sure, credits, sure. and all that sure, stuff. Sure, sure, sure. And they'll send it out. Yeah. Not bad. Yeah, it's a good thing. You play the, you, or you say spoken word only? Well, spoken word, or I, sometimes I sing a little bit, or I'll okay. percussion okay. or something. Singing's really yeah. hard, too. Yeah. I'm getting into that right now. Really? Yeah. I've been singing into a microphone that was, like, only for, like, podcasting. Oh, yeah. And then yeah. finally upgraded to, like, you know, a boom arm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Highly super... What yeah, uh, directional. Yeah, um, yeah. And realizing yeah, and how much I needed to work on now that I could hear myself oh, in yeah. high fidelity. Because it took me a while to even develop the ear to like hear like yeah. that's pitchy. But now I'm hearing the stuff like even on the ride over here, I'm listening to some of my music and I'm yeah. listening to like these songs I'm listening to. Not only sound like I'm talking to a phone, but the, like it's taking a while to find the notes. <laughs> And like I'm, I, I like the earnestness yeah, of it, but yeah. it's clearly something where I've learned how to hear music differently. Uh, because of that, I kind of ruined music for me in a weird way. Like now, when I hear music on the radio, I'm like, no, no, <laughs> this isn't good. This isn't quality good. Like I need, and when you find the band that you do love, you're yeah. like, these guys know what they're doing. Exactly. Yeah. This is like mixed well. Yeah. The ensemble's good. The talent distribution's great. Uh, no one's stepping on each other. Yeah. That's yeah. Great. It all works together. You know Steely Dan. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I love that. They recorded an analog. Like, they didn't even have anything digital back in the day. <laughs> and it still sounds good. You yeah. Know, like, how is it this clear? Yeah. It's insane. They had a huge budget. Really? Yeah. And they would, because uh, they would, you know, they would record a song with one band one day, mm. you know, because it was just the two main guys by the, the yeah, late yeah. 70s. True, 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 true. And so they'd bring in a bunch of guys and yeah. record, a, you know, a couple of songs. The next day, they'd bring in a different band. Yeah. Same songs again. Mm. And one of those things, uh, they invented a, a drum machine. Yes. Yeah. 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 Because yeah. uh, they needed to. I forgot the guy's name. A Percy? Uh, yeah, I don't remember either. He's, he's a. Uh, but he's a classic. He is a classic. And, and he's also a. Uh, the guy that did the tech stuff is a, a journalist too for some music magazine. Mm. He might be dead now, actually. But he used to write in some music magazine. I remember reading an article that he wrote about how well we need to do this with the drums and you didn't have this technology, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. you know, I had a little bit of programming skills. We sure. had this, that, and the other. We were able to make something that worked. Yeah, and but they had like a really high standard. And yeah. I know for the drummer, he was like one of the first persons to revolutionize how you'd even record like yeah. that. Yeah, because before yeah. they'd do it Beatles style, where it's just one microphone in the center and yeah. everyone got around it playing to the mic. But he's yeah. like, no, I need six microphones. <laughs> one for the kick, one for the cymbals, one for the cymbals. I'm like, what are you yeah. even doing? It's like, yeah. no, I don't need this microphone. I need that microphone because it's exactly. higher ends a little bit more. Yeah. yeah. And I need to put this here, and they need to be equal distances from mm. each other so the sound waves hit them at the same time. Yeah. Like, he was super technical. And people were like, you're insane. And Steely Dan's like, you want to do some music with yeah, us? Yeah, exactly. And, and it changed the way how people did it. It did. Fundamentally, it did. it's like, wow. Yeah. And fucking analog. Mm, yes, yeah. <laughs> it's like bad take. <laughs> Throw out the tape. We have to record it again. There's no rewind. <laughs> <laughs> and the yeah, and the tape. You know, you can only record on it once. Because if you re-record it, yeah. you erase it all the way. And yeah. So. And those masters, I think they were all magnetic for the most part. Yeah. So like at a certain point, they're gonna they won't exist anymore. They'll yeah. Just, lose their polarity exactly so everyone was just racing against the clock yeah to make like the highest quality stuff that could exist in the moment it's just like these guys love music yeah I love music too yeah me too almost That's as good much as food maybe as much as oh yeah can't live off of music well maybe you can maybe you can eat music you can't eat music well you just need to make a genre where you can at the same time too there you go you're done there you go so Thanks, Thanks so much. Man. I appreciate you. Thanks for being here. <laughs> <laughs>